Woods here, and today we're gonna take a trip back in time to 2005 for the reimagined at the time HD version of Sid Meier's Pirates, a classic game that I used to play in the 80s on my old console before. It's a great game if you like pirates. A lot of customization, some RPG elements. It's pretty fun. There's even a tactical combat game built in. And what's cool is you can actually change your ship's flags. I always go with the classic skull and crossbones. That's good. It began with a celebration. Did it for years to the Marquise de la Montalban. A family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow carrying both their hopes and their salvation. But the celebration was to be fouled by an unwelcome guest. Marquis himself arrived bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost, and the debt had come due. The family's property was seized. And they were pressed into bondage. One of them would not be a slave. <laughs> and so it was that the brave young skull escaped his family's fate, swearing to save them one and all and avenge the Marquis' foul deed. Ten years later, we arrived in a small little port. Now grown to its full measure, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Seeking passage to the new world, you inquire and publish. Looking for passages, the Americans, you can sign up here. Name Ritz. You need to sign on as part of the crew, the captain of the young table. Glad to take your Here's where you can pick your country. You can go with the French, the Spanish, the Dutch, or the English. Depending on who you pick, we'll decide which country is loyal to you at the start, which will give you the best jobs, who will be your enemies right off the bat, and perhaps what kind of ship you'll get. The Spanish is usually the most powerful country, so they're like the easiest to play with. The French are kind of in the middle, Eng uh, the English are kind of the normal set level, difficulty level. The Dutch are kind of tricky because they usually don't have too many ports. And you need ports in order to gather crew members and sell your booty. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the English. When in Zella. Welcome aboard, Mr. Blitz. We sail with tide. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. The captain drove the ship and her crew to break it.
free and under full sail. The shipmates crew are in your command. You make your way into the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. A family to rescue. Revenge to be served. Destiny awaits you. In what fine port? We will be heading to Nevis. The English trading post of Nevis is brimming with wealth. Food is often plenty here. Let's go talk to the governor. My dear Mr. Blitz, come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish. I am pleased to offer you a letter of mark, which will authorize you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. As this map will show you, the nearest enemy city is the Spanish city of San Juan, which lies many days to the west. Along the way, we can attack some Spanish ships. I wouldn't go actually. <laughs> well, we could actually, at this early stage, we probably haven't ticked off the Spanish too much. We could dock if we wanted to, but be careful. We can't. We can't take. We actually can capture cities in later in the game, but not at this point. We got one ship and a small crew. Well, in fact, a juicy <laughs> Spanish barg was seen this morning, headed in that direction. Barg might be a good upgrade from our current ship. Cheers, Tom. Good day, Mr. Blitz. Let's visit the tavern, shall we? The citizens of Nevis have gathered at the tavern this evening to discuss the latest happenings, including the fact that you received an English letter of Mark. What would you like to talk to? Oops, did I just cancel out of that? Yes, I did. Ooh, my mouse is working overtime. Bartender. The bartender motions it over. There's a whole lot of stinking rich folk in this town. A pirate tech might put the fear of God in them. Shoot darn it. Won't come for me. Hey, barmaid. When in Zella. Stead Bonnet, the fifth most notorious pirate in the Caribbean. Sails out in the pirate haven black town near the city of Barbados. He's known to have over 4,200 gold on him. Maybe a little while we might take a chance and take him out. Get that gold. We're here. He's here. Blacktown. Ooh, man in the back. Dunning. Mysterious travel offers to sell you a ruby ring. Let's, this will help you win the heart of the governor's daughter and can be yours for only 1100 Unfortunately, we only have 600 That's over. Not today. And we don't have a girlfriend yet anyway. Amen. Despite the booming economy, an adventurous band of 16 men offer to join your current crew of 40. Great, so we'll have 56 men. The booty awaits men. Let's see. We don't need to really go to the merchant, but let's check them out. We have 13 tons of food, is enough for four months with our current crew with eight guns. And this is what he sells to fast, so. Goods, yeah, they'll sell really good in this town. We just have to get some from the ships that we take. Spice is good too. Let's consult with the shipwright. Maybe we can get some upgrades. We have a sloop. 40 ton ship. No damage. Got chain shot and grape shot already. That's cool. With those, we can either kill the crew or cut the ship. Us, the sail to shreds, which will sit dead, uh, slow the enemy down when we're trying to chase him. This is a pretty good ship to start out with. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of cannons, though, and it won't take much damage, but it's fast. We can upgrade to find powder, though, which will give us longer range, which is probably a good idea. It's going to take most of our money, but we'll be getting more money soon, so I think that's a good idea. The ship will hold 19 tons of cargo. Let's check our status. 
He started a career in 1660, the Buccaneer Hero, English captain. He's currently an apprentice captain with skill at fencing. You're now 18 years old, excellent health. The crew's unhappy, probably because I spent all their money. Because, you know, you're supposed to give it to the crew. We have one ship. Hold 75 crew members. This is my personal status. I haven't achieved anything yet. This is our log. No treasure maps yet. This is the world map. Top 10 pilots. We're number 10. And number 5 is this guy here. He's got he's he's plundered 46,000 gold in his career. He's got 4,800 on board though. And here you got like a encyclopedia, kind of like Civilization, where you can look up different ships. Like we can look up the complete details of the soup. It's a broad beach reach ship, best sail. It can hold 12 guns. So the class side is a tight turn radius, small. The soup is a Dutch design, small. Four and a half rig vessel, cool with one or one or two small sails before the mast. The vessel became very popular in the Caribbean during the 1630s, 1640s. Extremely fast and exceptionally maneuverable. Better than almost any other ship in light wounds. In strong ones, though, a soup can be considerably slower than a larger ship. Under oars, the soup can move directly into the wind. The soup has a shallow draft allowing it to sail over shoals with no risk, so close to land we won't be we won't rip up the hull. Despite its modest size and cargo capacity, the sloop's maneuverability is so great that many buccaneers prefer it to a large and more powerful craft. Indeed, the Royal English Royal Navy has built a number of soups for its own use as pirate hunters. There's also a sloop of war, which is a bigger ship, holds 100 crew and 50 guns. There's also the Royal Sloop, which is a big one, even bigger than the other one, but you probably won't see that very often. Okay, let's sail away and try to capture that ship. Forgot the controls here. Let's attack. Fire! We missed. This is controlled, at least I'm controlling it with the keyboard. The, uh, the, uh, whoops, look at that. I can actually outmaneuver the cannonballs. But not that close. Ooh, they got me a little. Of course, we want to capture it, not destroy it. You can actually pick up crew members that fall off board, by the way. I think it's time we get the only good one got left. They're gonna surrender? They surrendered. Smart thing, Captain. 600 pieces of gold. We got 3 tons of food, 10 tons of luxuries, 25 tons of goods, and 1 cannon. Let's take her all and let's keep her though. She's gonna take some uh, repairs. Let's go back to port. Let's go to the English port of Kits, though, this time. English port of St. Kits, population 5,600. It's bacon in the sun and spice. Often fetches a good price in St. Kits. Good thing we just found some spice. Let's talk to the governor. Oh, My dear Mr. Blitz, please come in. As you know, we are at war with the evil Spanish. I understand you recently captured a Spanish bark. Excellent. The king will be pleased. So you'll be promoted to captain. Good day, Mr. Blitz. Hey, word is spreading about what we, that we captured the bark. So maybe they'll like us better. The best place to sell the, the goods you own is a small prosperity like St. Acoustis. You're paying 14 per ton. Shoot darn it. When in Zella. Let's, you may be interested in some information about Stan Bonnet. Yes. I know. You, oh, he's in a brigantine. Oh, that's a fairly large ship. Yes, it's Garrett offers to share you information. Nope. So That'll so. be good if we want to know about what kind of guards they have if we're going to attack, but for now, it's not. Uh, 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 
Jobs are scarce to say kits and experience crew of 33. Oh, so the local economy affects the amount of crew we get. 33 want to join us because there's not any jobs for them. That'd be cool. That gives us about max crew, I think, for our main ship. Let's trade. Let's see. Let's get rid of the goods. Okay. Let's get rid of the spice. Look at that. We started with 100 gold, now we got 1,000. What's the ship right now? Let's repair. Oh, the super didn't actually take any damage, huh? Hey, upgrade with a copper plate for a tr better turning radius. Also, we got the Costa Verga, Coastal Bark. It's a bigger ship. But you hold more cargo. I'm not gonna upgrade it just yet. Even if we don't use her as our attacking ship, though, we can use her to carry cargo. Okay. Brigantine. Yeah, that's what the pirate has. It's two mastels, 125 crew ship. That's going to be tough to take. that ship we got? The Coastal Bark. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. She's a tight turning ship too. Coastal Barks are shallow draft three masting ships with one or more of the mast being four and a half rig. The four and a half rig makes these ships fast when set in close haul and slow when sailing large. Smaller barks carry oars. But you, being both slow and slowly armed, close parts do not make defensive worship. They are the first choice of pirates, though. Not the first choice. Yeah. I prefer the bark. These ones here, 100 crew. Yeah, most pirates don't like them, though. Okay, let's see if we can get some more ships, shall we? We will not be attacking the French ship here. Oh, while well, we're here. Let's see. Let's save the game. Never know what'll happen. Dutch big ship over there. While we're at, let's go to the Dutch uh, colony. Maybe they'll give us a letter mark too. Then we can, when you have a letter mark from more than one country, you can actually get credit. I mean, rewarded for the exact same thing you did for each country. Assuming they're at war with Spain, too. Brimming with wealth, sugar is plentiful in this part. Wedding time! My dear Mr. Blitz, come in. You may interest to know that we are at war with the Spanish and the French. Ooh. I like this. We get a letter mark from them. We'll get rewarded for attacking Spanish and the French. And see, we just got credit for taking that bark. Good letter mark. Delphin Pass. The nearest French city is Monstrat, which is a short distance southeast. Yeah, I think we'll head there. When in town. Next time, Mr. Blitz. While we're here, though. Arden Grumman. Ooh. St. Eustace just got upgraded ships with bronze cannons. Ooh, cool. Darden. It's rumored that the Spanish fleet is, is headed for Kumana with a fortune gold. Note that, my love. Yeah, I'd love to get that. They can have like 200,000 gold or something like that, but they also have like guards, you know, ships guarding it and everything. We're not ready for that. Mysterious travel off cellular lockpick will help you escape from captivity. I don't plan on getting captured. Not for now, anyway. Despite the economy, four people want to join you. See, we got two months of food. No, we don't have enough. You know, don't have enough gold. Well, you know, we gotta go get some. Let's go. 
Let's head off to that French town. I will not attack. I'm not going to attack any uh, friendlies. Let's see. Yeah, the French town is here, and we're here, so we got to go more east. You notice the wind's affecting our, our uh, speed here. We're only going 10 knots. Earth attack city of Nevis. Ooh. The French merchantman. Yeah, that's what we want. Eight guns and 66 men. It's a big ship. Still a grape shot trying to start the floor now. Actually, chain shot. Uh... Crossfire. Dude, not good. We got stuck. I think that's good enough. Let's get her. Thanks for surrendering, Captain. 225 gold. Oh, what? Wow. Let's keep her and take everything. Another merchantman, but I don't want to attack them until we get some repairs. Oh, watch it. There's, there's, the fort actually shoots at us. Cannon gets far. They can actually sink us from this mode. Well, that's a nice ship. We'll probably sell this guy. Keep the bigger merchantman for the cargo. Governor! My dear Mr. Blitz, come in. I know we're lord of Spanish. Oh, so, yeah, he won't give us anything for the. Uh, French. We gotta go to Dutch. Are you an interested in governor's daughter? They say she's a real beauty. It's room of the Marcel bound for Margaritas, carrying in over a thousand in gold. It's a French merchantman. She's going south, huh? Well, that's our next target. Donnie no, we don't want the right. Uh, 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 yes, we'll take 24 crew members. Let's trade. Get rid of the sugar. Three months of food should be enough. Let's see, this is a merchantman, which is a hundred tonner. Yeah, we're gonna sell this to the bark. Let's repair the merchantman. Repair our bark, which had a little bit of damage. Okay, well, triple hammocks would be nice, but we, we, the, the repairs cost too much. Triple hammocks allow the ship to carry more crew. So you know, a merchantman square with merchantmen are well designed and see where the rest of they have large car capacity and carry numerous guns. Double what I carry, but they're slow. And they, but they can be saleable to small crew to save money. 
Often not carrying enough crew to man all guns, most workmen are extremely dis dis disinclined to fight when facing pirates. Beware, however, some merchantmen have been converted to pirate ships with strong armies and sailed by ferocious crew of cutthroats. These ships are extremely dangerous. The large merchantmen in East Indian are larger variations of these ships. So let's find that. Ooh, ooh, a soup of war. That's not the ship we want. The only one's going to right there. Attack. For a thousand gold, you bet I'm gonna. Sales. Pick up a free crew member. Oh. I missed him. They surrendered. 37 crew members. What's the Sure, lad. Thousand gold, my hearties. Yes, with keeper. Is that merchantman? I think has been upgraded. Oh, crap. I hear that warship coming after us. We're getting a reputation. The one about the troop transport that more reinforcement troops arrived in the French city, so now there are more troops there. So, sometimes you can stop that from happening. Let's repair at Nevis, Let's see if we get anything for our work. Probably not since they're not at war with France. Yes, you're at war with you. Yeah, they're not gonna give us anything. Yes, we found that out when we have some money. Get a skilled sailmaker. It'll he'll be able to repair our sails and uh, other things faster. On a ship called the Femi. Ooh, they're going to get exactly where we're going. Yeah, Your fellow officers tell you part of a secret map to the location of the powered Stead Bonnet treasure. Ooh, Stead Bonnet. That guy has over forty-two thousand gold. I don't know if it'll be all of it, but for two hundred, yeah, we'll take it. Uh, search west of San Juan. Hmm. Next time we're in the area. Twelve men. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's trade. Sell all our goods. Keep up. We gotta keep our gold here. For High as possible to keep the crew happy. We only have one month of food though. There we go, 17. Shipwright, let's repair the sloop. Each of them hold 200 tons. I don't think I need both of them. So we'll sell it. It's only worth 10 gold anyway. And we'll repair this ship. And we'll be on our way, and we'll save the game. Now we're looking for that... Uh, is that the one? Yep, that's it. That's the first time we're facing a ship that probably as memorable as we are. Or if not better. It's 
smaller ship than we are. We got to slow her down. Oof. I missed. Come on, man, hit that thing. Finally. You gotta be very careful with those guys, so. That that yeah, I think that's enough. They're not surrendering. We have to fight. First time sword fight. And my special skill is sword fighting, so this should go fairly easy. Plus we got double crew. Well, the advantage is like the crew around. Stop hurting me! There we go. I give me your ship, your booty. One of the French crewmen, skilled salesman, sailmaker, which will make sea repairs. He can make sea repairs at sea. Yes. It is a pinnace. We'll take her, but we're just gonna sail her, though. Let's head... Let's head up to the Dutch town so we can get our rewards. Look how tiny that little pinnace, that little, little pinnace is. My dear Mr. Blitz, come in. Oh, it's Spanish and French. Yes, and there are my rewards, please. Recognition of your service to the Dutch crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of captain. Congratulations. As a result, it will be easier in Dutch ports. I also grant you a hundred acres of land on the outskirts of town. Oh, the doctor, governor's plain-looking daughter enters the room. She seems quite taken. Would you like to take her to the ball? Uh, why not? Not very good at this part, but we'll see how good I am at dancing. It's kind of like a rhythm game, so you gotta match the movements of the of the daughter. See, he's not very good. There we go, I think I'm getting it. The bigger the heart, the better. That means how much she likes you. Oh, gotta do it right at the right time. Oh, the heart's getting smaller. Come on, you can do it. Trunkle toes. Not too bad. After I got got going. things at once, huh? Sorry if I stepped on your toes, Missy. I'm a pirate, not a professional dancer. I think it worked out okay, though. Got a big heart up there. Let's see what you... Hmm. Guess she likes us. Like, this is Captain Blitz. You're such a charming old guy. For information, I may interest you. A thousand gold reward is offered for Sir Mr. O. Chatterley, who is wanted by the Crown for indecency. <laughs> I have reason to believe that he is hiding the city of Trinidad. The tavern keeper will assist you. Excellent. When in time. Next time, Governor. See, where is Trinidad? Trinidad 
that is down here. This is the tavern. Arden Grumman. Should bring us upgrade your camera. True, yes. Arden. Cesar this room with the Ray Carl is bound for Trinidad is carrying over a thousand gold. I believe she's a Spanish trade galleon. Ooh, nice. I've heard of amazing news your family will reveal to you for a thousand. Yeah, I'd like to, Excellent. but we can't spare that just now. The crew would be at a Twelve people? Sure. Come on, mates, let's go. Luxuries. You sell one candy. Okay, our ship is fine. Regiment. Yeah, let's get rid of that penis for oh, She's worth well look at all the upgrades she has. A deep sir stop. I can upgrade the bronze cannons, which will fire more accurately. I think we wanna I'm gonna wait. Now yeah, let's do it now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, let's save the game. I keep forgetting where the menu is. Okay. We want to hit the Trinidad. Look for that Spanish treasure ship. Just a Dutch trader. Oh, French raider. I know we're enemies, but I don't want to attack just now. So you also got like a first person view too, but I find it a little harder to navigate like that. Barbados. There's Blacktown. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. We might take on the pirate, maybe. There's Martinique coming up. French merchantman. Well, we're, I think we'll try it. What's the worst that'll happen? Let's attack Stade Bonnet, the guy who's five times a better pirate than we are. Let's go for it. Got more men and got more guns than I missed. Boy, he's gunning for me. Try to slow him down just a bit. Whoa, whoa. Get him though. Cut his sails down. Oof. We are taking damage. pick up his crew members here.
Did he surrender him? He's got no sales. He surrendered. We actually got the fifth most notorious pirate on the seas to surrender to us, who are only number ten. Well, uh, Kuma has a skilled surgeon who can heal the Kuma birds. Nice. How much we get? Forty-nine hundred gold, and I think I'll take the ship. Though it'll take a lot of repairs, but it might be a very good ship. It might be time to upgrade to the uh, brigantine. Let's take her all. The sordid career of the fifth most notorious pirate has come to an end. News of your victory spreads quickly. The Spanish government trade may have kind to give you a promotion. English governor Paris was kind to give her a promotion. The French government made kind. Oh, even the French people who were enemies. Well, we should get that get that promotion quick. Wonder if we can get to the French port without them really attacking us. Come on, we're mo the the ship bigger ship is slowing us down now. Hey, we're not gonna attack you. Please don't shoot at us, please. Nice, they're not shooting at us. We probably helped our reputation by doing that. When in time. Oui, oui. Mr. Blitz, come in, come in. You may be don't able to know that we are oh, what the pretty Dutch. I understand you recently defeated the pirates Stay oh. Bennett and Captain Pratt. Kill me, please. Recognize your service, I promote you to French Captain. <laughs> Ooh, the governor's attractive guard. <laughs> Dent. Iron scantlings, if you like. Oh, okay. Shoot, darn. They got a green beard. Oh, shucks. The steward trial wash to sell you medicine and medicinal herbs. This will help you prolong your life and be yours for only a thousand gold pieces. A long life is nice, and a lot of this stuff doesn't come up too often. Yeah, we're in this for the long haul. Never know how long the game will take. Might live to 60 years old. 22 coup members? Aye, mates, let's go! Got five tons of spice. Let's sell some of the food. Because we're not going on a long trip or anything. And let's see what kind of upgrades we can get. Yeah, he had that guy had a brigantine with triple hammocks, fine green powder, and bronze cannons. It doesn't hold as much cargo as the merchant. The iron scantlings can make it resist damage. to get rid of it just yet. I think I will keep all three for the time being, but we are going to switch into that new ship as our flagship. Let's save the game. And let's change the brigantine into our flagship. Funny how it's the same name as ours. Now the soup has copper and a few other things that are, uh, you know, we have more crew members now. We're a little slower to move now though. food though so we better find somebody to, to get to get to a Dutch or British port because we don't want the crew. Ooh a French frigate. 
This is risky, but they'll we'll get a big reward for attacking this thing. First time in a big ship. We don't have any of the extra uh We're a lot still, we're not as maneuverable as we were in the smaller one, but we're still more maneuverable than the Frigga. Frigga, right, in this early stage of the game would be amazing to capture. Yeah, we only have one kind of uh, cannon shot, though. Don't really want to sword fight with this crew yet. She has no guns. She might not surrender though. We have more crew members now than they do. But as they're a warship, I don't think they're gonna surrender. Nope. Hi, Captain. I suggest you surrender. I'm going to take that ship. <laughs> we are so slow. Our ship, our frigate's on fire. But we, yo ho, let's head to Nevis, then the Dutch port. Yo ho, ooh, a Spanish ship is attacking them. I think they need some help. Come on. Oh, that's my ship. This is a soup of war, not like the soup that we had. Uh, we are a bigger ship, but though then again you saw we did the bigger ship, so... We didn't sink her. Ooh, we sunk her! Try to pick up the crew member to... Well, I bet the governor will like what we did. We saved him. I do, Mr. Blitz, come in. As you know, we're the uh, Spanish and the slimy French. We sank a sloop and defeated a pirate stand on it. We are now English captains. And 150 acres of land. Wow, 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 wow. Yo, I like your daughter. I'll see her again. Arden. I, I saw the, the governor's daughter. I, 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 I. Shoot down. <laughs> Sarah. Crumbles apprehension, Blitz. You are now the eighth most notorious pirate. Donnie. Oh, no, I don't want that's to. That's over. Forty-four crew members. Wow, we have over two hundred crew members already. <laughs> we almost have an invasion force. Oh, uh, we got nothing to sell though. Why do they name everything revenge? <laughs> La invention. Well, I'm definitely keeping that frigate and upgrading it. I don't think I'll use it yet. Until I get some more upgrades. Uh -huh. 
I think we'll sell the merchantman now, because we got the brigantine, which is 60 tons, the 40 ton sloop, and the 80 ton frigate. faster now. We'll cruise around this lookout stone and see if we grab any Spanish ships or anybody along the way. Ooh. Oh. That's a Dutch ship transport immigrants. Oh well. Let's just get to the ship to the port. No, we're not going to attack them, so stop flashing the button. <laughs> we're just coming here to get our reward. My dear Bits, come in. Done yes, we're, you're at war. Yes, I did sink a sloop and stop an invasion force. Dutch major. Ship repairs look cheaper. Thanks. And 200 more acres of land. Wow. Hey. The average daughter. I have seen a quite successful young sportsman. I've always dreamed of foreign a flash you will be ring. Uh, yeah, I hope so. I, I, uh, I'm, uh, you're nice and all. I don't think I'm interested in marriage, though. Right, see you later. <laughs> Ship ride monster ride company ship with grape shot, yes. They are so bad at that. Wedding's a lot. Rock Brasilio, the six most tourist pirate in the Caribbean, sails out of port Haven, the pirate haven Port Moore near the city of Trinidad. He's known for 20 corner. Yeah. Nah, we're, we're not attacking now, so. <laughs> 20 of more men. We almost have 300 <laughs> crew members. One problem though, more crew members, more food. Nothing to buy, nothing to repair. Okay. I think we'll start heading south, but I think we'll call it the end of our first pilot pirate adventure. I think we've done pretty good. The crew's currently unhappy, but we just need some more booty because we got 282 crew members, so it takes a lot of stuff to help them. Our personal gold is 800, 1891. We only have food for one more month. Medical, medicinal herbs will keep us going for a longer life. We're currently only 18 years old, so we've got a long way to go. We currently have three ships. A sailmaker and a surgeon. As soon as we upgrade the frigate a bit more, or we'll, or when we face big ships, really big ships, I'll probably use it. We have one treasure map, which is near San Juan, and San Juan's right here. So maybe we'll go after the treasure in the next episode. We are already number eight. The most notorious, notorious pirate blitz. So, hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Sid Meier's Pirates Live the Life. If you did, hit the like button, leave any comments, suggestions, cookie recipes, anything you like. Share with all your friends. Hit the bell and subscribe if, if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And until next time, this is Comrade Blitz. I may keep your powder dry and your sword sharp. Have a nice day.